Wayne, you can go ahead. Good morning and welcome to the Hewitt Public Library. We are so excited that you have joined with us. Uh, this is one of eight programs that we're delivering on Wednesdays. And I just want to tell you how important it is that, uh, that we see you and uh, make sure that you come to the library uh, for all of our uh, different events. On Tuesdays, we have uh, characters that are coming to the library. On Mondays, we have um, uh, kit pickups. And then, of course, on Wednesday, we have our performer performers. Uh, so I just want to give you a great big welcome, and I'm going to turn it over to Tracy. Tracy is, our <laughs> Tracy is our program coordinator and has done a fantastic job this summer in getting, uh, getting our programming put together. So, Take it away, Tracy. We are a little bit behind, so we're trying to do a little bit of technical difficulties. So give me just one second. Well, this gives me an opportunity to talk. <laughs> so I would like to encourage uh, encourage y'all to, to really come to the library. We've got some fantastic programs going on. Uh, I've been working with uh, Angel Paws for a couple of years now, and uh, if you're not familiar with Angel Paws, they are a national accredited group that has a paws uh, here in here in Waco in McLennan County. They're um, uh, dogs that are coming to the library on the 22nd of this month. Uh, from two until three, and you can sign up. You have to go online, and you can sign up with uh, uh, to have your child and, and really we have adults that do it, uh, but come into the library and your child can read uh, to one of these angel babies. So we've got that coming up. Uh, we also have for our early literacy, we have a, a new program called A Thousand Books Before Kindergarten. And this is a very, very near and dear to my heart. And we've worked on it for, for, many, for many years. Um, Miss Kay and Miss Candace uh, really are responsible for filling the bags. But if you've got a child uh, under the age of five, this is the program for you. And you, you have to sign up and uh, you come to the, to the library and we have bags of books. And uh, if you check out all hundred bags of books and read to your children, by the time they enter kindergarten, they will have read a thousand books. And it is uh, it helps with uh, fluid uh, fluency in reading, word recognition, vocabulary. Oh my goodness, just all kinds of things. So I think I've got the thumbs up from Miss Tracy, and I'll turn it back over to her. Hi guys. I'm sorry for all the technical difficulties. We're live on Facebook as well, so I think we're having a little bit of a delay, but I think everybody can hear. If you um, would, would mind just posting in the chat and letting us know if we're good. So we're gonna go ahead and pass it over to Mark Fuller. Thank you very much for joining us, Mark. Okay, yeah, I'm ready now. Oh, I'm already on. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, guys. I hope I didn't gross you out. The lady in that picture screen there, uh, Caitlin, looks a little freaked out at what I just did. Sorry about that. Uh, just preparing for the show here. Uh, okay, well. Uh, well, let's get on with the show. Uh, I'm Mr. Mark from Twisty Art Balloon Entertainment, and I've got a show for you. It's called Once Upon a Story Time with Balloons. Now, you know who I am, Mr. Mark. I'd like to see if you can tell me who you are. So on the count of three, I want you to scream out your names really loud, okay? So I can hear them, okay? Here we go. One, two, not yet. Ready? Three. Zach. Uh, that's not right. I should be able to hear you. Uh, maybe, maybe something with the mute on my computer. Uh, 
No. Um, oh, 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 I know what it is. I went swimming yesterday at the lake and I got water in my ear. And have you ever got water in your ear? You know, you, got, you can't hear sometimes. And if it's a lake or river water, sometimes it's dirty. You can get an earache. So you always want to be sure you get that water out of your ear, right? Yeah. Yeah. And Oh, and I couldn't hear. And last night, my wife, she was asking me to take out the garbage and clean the dishes or something. And I didn't hear her. That's probably why she got upset at me. <laughs> Happy wife. Happy life. In about 10 or 20 years, you guys all want to understand that, okay? Good, 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 good. And, oh, and two, you want to be sure your ears are clear so you can hear your parents when they ask you to make your beds, clean up your room, put your toys away, right? Dinner time. Don't want to miss that call. Okay, well, let me get that water out. Oh, 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 there, there it comes. It's, it's starting to come out now. There we go. Oh, oh gosh, it's already feeling so much better. Oh yeah. Oh gosh, there's all kinds of junk in my ear, huh? That was quite the trip to the lake. I think there must be some rainbow trout in that river. Uh-huh. Yep, I'm pretty sure there are. And I'm going fishing at the state park next week with my grandkids. We're gonna catch some of those trout, yum. Oh, hey, did you know that at the state parks right now or all year round, you can get loaner fishing poles and they'll give them to you to use at the state parks. And your parents don't have to buy a fishing license. So it's a fun family expedition to go out to the state parks and go fishing. So you can catch some of those nice catfish or bass. And I think they do have some rainbow trout in some lakes here and there. Good luck with it, okay? Well, let's try that with your veins again, okay? Remember, one, two, three. Yeah. What's going on? Oh, 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 it's because you guys are on mute today. Oh, stupid me. Okay, okay, you're on mute. I forgot all about that. Oh, I wasted all that time, but hey, at least we got the water out of my ear and I'm ready to go now. So are you ready to go? Here's a little song that kind of goes along with what we're going to be doing today. So if you want to get up and get away from your, now I'm having the technical, it did work a few minutes ago. There we go. Now we got it. If you want to push away from your computer desk a little bit and dance a little bit, feel free, okay? Our show is called Once Upon a Story Time with Balloons, and we're going to have a little jungle story today. I'm going to need you to make some S effects, okay? I know you're not here with me. You can't shout it out over the computer, but just do it at home. Have some fun. Get out of your character and... If you're the quiet type, just scream it out and yell. And hopefully mom and dad aren't working from home and you won't bother them. Sorry, mom and dad. But we can have a good time, okay? Now, <clears throat> for this show, I want you, whenever you're making sound effects, if you're going to be a, a mouse, a lion, a elephant, or giraffe, you can put that sound effect in the chat if you'd like, okay? Um, a lot of the sound effects is going to be of a lion, okay? And the other main sound effect is going to be a mouse. So whenever you feel you want to make a mouse sound, or I say the word mouse, you can go squeak. That's great, Bailey and Oaken, Cole. Thank you. And if I put the line out there, what are you going to do? What are you going to put in the chat? Roar. That's right. You guys got that. Good, good, good. There's some other animals for this. And for this show, I've got my friend here, Wacko Taco. Say hi to Wacko Taco. 
Hey guys, what's going on, man? Dude, yeah, I'm Wacko Taco. <laughs> yeah, he's going to help me out. Usually, you guys get to help me out in the show, but since we are doing it over virtual show, you guys can't jump through the screen, right? So Wacko Taco is going to help me out. Uh, the other day, I did a show and I had four kids on stage and they really liked acting out the show with me. So I'll put Wacko Taco over here and he, we'll put that on him in a few minutes. And let's get on with the show. So like I say, our show is called Once Upon a Story Time with Balloons. And the story we have today is an Aesop's fable. Do you guys know who Aesop is? He's the guy that wrote fables. Do you know what fables are? Well, fables are really short stories. I'll show you how short they are even. His fables are all just like one page long, okay? Real quick. And I saw another book at the library. They were even shorter than this. So they're a lot of fun to read. They're usually about animals. The animals are the characters in the fables. And they always have a good moral at the end. Okay, like this one says, it's no use trying to hide what can't be hidden. Okay, and if we read the story, we'd understand that. So our story today about the lion and the mouse is called the lion and the mouse. Write that? Good, good. Well, Aesop wrote about over 700 of these short little stories. And you can find them at the library. They're a lot of fun to read. Some are very illustrated. Quick little bedtime story at night or a way to wake up in the morning by reading a short little story and getting on, the, on a good track for the day. Okay. Now, back then, 2,000 years ago, they wore clothes like these. Does anybody know what these are called? You can write it in the chat. Let me see. Who's the first one to get that out? Who's the first one? What did they wear? What did the Greeks and Romans wear? Anybody? Togas, right. Yeah, it's a robe too. Yeah, but this kind of robe is called a toga, all right? And that's how they dressed back in that day in loose fitting clothes. Uh, oh, you know what? People that wore pants, they called them barbarians or crazy or silly or funny. Could you imagine that if you were wearing pants? Like I am right now, actually. Uh, and get laughed at. But if you're wearing a robe to school, everybody would think it'd be really cool. Well, if someone does wear a robe to school, don't laugh at them, okay? It's really cool, all right? What people want to wear, as long as it's obeying the rules of the school, of course, is fine, all right? We should laugh at people for their choices of how they want to dress out in public, okay? You go to a cosplay uh, convention, you'll see a lot of crazy people dressed up like all kinds of crazy stuff. Okay, great. Well, let's get on with our story. Um, what we're going to do here is I'm going to see how well you can be lions and mice. Okay, so we're going to do a little song. Get up from your computers again, push back, make some space. You got it? And here we go. It's kind of like the ho hokey pokey, but I call it the jungle boogie, okay? And here we go. You got lions jump in, the lions jump out, the lions jump in and they wiggle all about. They do a crazy dance and they go themselves around. That's what it's all about. And the mice jump in, the mice jump out, the mice jump in and they squeak all about. They do the mousy dance and they turn themselves around. That's what it's all about. And they put their tails in, they put their tails out. Stick your tail in. They put their tails in and they wiggle them all about. They do the jungle boogie and they turn themselves around. That's what it's all about. They do the whole selves in. They put their whole selves out. They put their whole selves in and they shake it all about. They do the jungle boogie and they turn themselves around. That's what it's all about. Now do the jungle boogie. Do the jungle boogie. I do the jungle boogie. Oh, that's what it's all about. 
All right, you're getting some exercise in for the day, I guess. I hope. I hope you're pushing away from those computers. Good, good, good. Well, like I say, our story, what's that, Wacko? Oh, uh, Wacko wants to start with the magic trick. Do you guys mind to start off with the magic trick? He's got a fun one he wants to do, I guess. Which one? Oh, he wants to do the needle through the balloon. Well, I have just the right stuff for that. Because I've got a needle. Ooh, a big needle. Whoa. And I've got a balloon. Like my balloon? You don't like my balloon? You don't want to be the balloon? Um, hey guys, he gets a little embarrassed sometimes. Sometimes I have to convince him to do this. So uh, he, he likes some really crazy foods. Um, if you can write in the chat, there's some crazy foods that you think he might like. We'll try those out, okay? Anybody got a good crazy food? Um, I mean, I'm talking like really crazy foods. Uh, mitten soup. Oh, that sounds very interesting. Okay. You like mitten soup? He doesn't like mitten soup. Sorry. Um, oh, I know one. He likes, now, don't get me wrong, but it's called poo-poo coffee. That's what he drinks in the morning. It's coffee, birds eat it, the coffee seeds, and then they poop it out, and then they roast it and grind it. And, it, and parents, it's only like $200 a bag. It's not very cheap, you know, so. But they drink that in Indonesia. Gross, I know. But you like it, huh? But he likes it. <laughs> okay, so will you do it for some poo-poo coffee in the morning? He's not gonna do the trick for poo poo coffee. Um, oh, oh, tuna, tuna eyeball soup. You like that, don't you? They have that in Japan. Mmm. Will you do it for some tuna eyeball soup? No. What else can we offer him? Um, oh, 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 I know. Right here in Texas, they have rattlesnake steaks. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Yeah, okay. I think we're ready to do the trick now for some rattlesnake snake. No. Wacko, why don't you want to do the show? It's just a trick with the needle going through you. Oh, he said he popped last time. I guess I wouldn't blame him for that. I, I wouldn't want to pop either. Would you want to pop? No way, man. No way, Jose. Okay, well, oh, oh, yeah, he reminds me. I've got another balloon over here I can use. It's right here. And we can use it instead for this trick, okay? And this balloon doesn't have a face in it, okay? So since it doesn't have a face, nobody's going to get hurt, right? It does have a face? No, it doesn't have a face. It's just a clear balloon. I'm gonna pass it through the, oh, I'm in the balloon? No, 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 I'm not in the balloon. I'm not in the balloon. No, I'm not putting a big needle through my head. No way, that'd be little loco. Yeah, not going there. We wanna be safe. Okay, well, spaghetti ice cream. Mm, that sounds pretty good, Sean. Uh, Seema, is that your name? Thank you. Tacos aren't weird, Bailey. No, oh, okay. Well, anyways, here we go. We got our balloon now, and Wacko's very safe over here. Lucky you. Okay, and here we go with the needle through the balloon trick. All right, are you ready? All right, we take our sharp needle. Now, if I start shaking, please tell me, okay, because just say stop, right? Stop in the chat if I start shaking because I don't want to pop the balloon either, okay? So here we go. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you, Zach. Appreciate that. Okay, 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 okay. Let's try that again. Ah! Okay, everybody help me with a meditation moment, okay? You're going to breathe deep. Let it out. If you're ever feeling angry or frustrated, sometimes that's a good thing to do. All right, let's try that again. Oh, that's too close to my face. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want it to pop in my face, okay? Oh, sorry, wacko. Too close to you. We'll get it right. We'll get it right. Okay. Oh, oh, the magic word. Duh. Got to have that magic word. Uh, I like to use um, ziggity zing, ziggity zang. Let's put the needle through this balloon thing, okay? Here we go. All together. Ziggity zing, ziggity zang. Let's put the, the needle through this balloon thing. And here we go. Oh, up, 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 up. Ah, smiley. I mean, wacko. Nothing to worry about. Nothing pop. The needle's in there. We're all okay. You want me to put it through all the way? Should I put it through all the way, kids? Yeah? Okay, I'll try. Uh, 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 uh. See, wacko, nothing happened. No problem. No problem, huh? Yeah. C'est pas un problème. Okay, now pull it all the way through. Should I go all the way through, kids? Okay, okay, all the way through, all the way through. Oh, it's going through my head now, see? Uh, oh! Oh, we got it. Just got to take it out. We're almost there. We're almost there. Ah, ah. Hey, we did it. Wacko, you didn't have anything to worry about. Oops. Um. I'm going to put this away before somebody else gets hurt. Ow! Like, maybe me. Oh. I think we should give Wacko a big hand. He did a good job there. He didn't get popped. He's all safe and sound. And uh, maybe I'll give him some fried tarantulas for lunch. What do you think about that? Think you'll like those? OK. You like those fried tarantulas? Yeah. They eat those as a delicacy in Cambodia. Some tourists will go all the way over there to get it. Well, now on with our show. <coughs> the lion and the mouse. You know what? Um, Wacko's telling me something here that lions don't live in the jungle. Is that right? Yeah? Well, if they don't live in the jungle, where do they live? Oh, in the savanna. Okay, so lions live in the savanna, not in the jungles. Okay, and what's that? Oh. And he's also not the king of the jungle. Then what is he, guys? Oh, he's the king of the beasts. I got it. 
Okay, so lions don't live in the jungle. They live in the savanna. They're not the king of the jungle. They're the king of the beast. Got it. Well, let's try this all over again, okay? Let's try this again. Got it. Well, I'm having a little sound issues, I'm sorry. But anyways, in the jungle, oh, sorry. In the savanna lived a lion. And he was the king of the beasts. And he was a real bossy king of the beasts. He would kind of kick around the other animals, push him out of the way. He didn't want them to be down at the watering hole when he was there. Basically, he was a bully. <laughs> yes, he was. Well, one morning, there was a little mouse and he was running home from being out all night hunting and foraging for food. Well, if you know anything about animals that are out at night, they're called, you know what they're called? Nocturnal animals. Now there's a lot of nocturnal animals in the jungle. Oh, sorry. Savannah, my bad. Of Africa. This one, you know who this one is? He's a hyena. Yeah. They're the wild dogs of Africa. And this one here? Oh, he's this guy right here. He's a little mouse, isn't he? Right. They go out at night and hunt. Uh, how about this one? A warthog? Yeah, if you want to see a great movie about uh, animals in the savanna, the Serengeti or Kalahari Desert to be specific, it's called Animals Are Beautiful People. It's an old, old movie from the 80s, but it really has a lot of funny, fun stuff in it so you can learn about those animals. And oh, you know what this one is? Yeah, he's an aardvark, right. And uh, one of the funny things in that, show was um, this guy here. He's a mongoose. And he found an ostrich egg. And you know how he opens the ostrich egg? He puts it on the ground near a big rock and he whacks it with his tail. Crack. And he gets a nice omelet for breakfast. So a lot of real fun things. It even shows you how to catch a monkey in there. Yeah. So if you want to catch a monkey, maybe a little monkey like your little brother, that'll be the way to do it. You can learn. Oh, by the way, when I say nocturnal animals, I'm not talking about your older brothers and sisters. They're not nocturnal, okay? They just stay up all night watching Netflix or playing their Fortnite or computer games, TikTok, whatever. Then they sleep all day. That's not nocturnal, okay? When school starts up again, they'll not be nocturnal then. They'll have to Stay awake in school, right? Right, okay. And we also have some nocturnal animals around here. A porcupine. Most of these animals you see at nighttime. In the early morning, I've driven my daughter to work and I've seen this guy before, a fox. They look just like that here in San Antonio. And even up, and up there where you are in the hill country up in Waco, okay? And of course, these guys, you never see them in the daytime unless they're squashed on the road, right? Because they're out at night, skunks. And owls, that's a good one. Good, good, good. That's a good one, too. And here's the state animal of Texas. Yes, the armadillo. You got that one right. Good. And, um, oh, when I was a kid out in California, we found one of these in our garbage can in the morning. 
He looked just like that. He was hissing at us. That was kind of a scary thing when I took out the trash that morning. An opossum, that's right, that's right. And we have bobcats or lynxes. They're out. And one more, this is one of my favorites. If you want to read a fun book, because one of the first books I read, it was called Rascal. And it was about a raccoon. Real fun, cute little book about a boy that had a pet raccoon named Rascal. And he was a rascal. So those are our nocturnal animals. And I sent Miss Tracy some worksheets. Maybe she'll send them out to you about some of those nocturnal animals. Great, well, let's move on with our story. So that mouse, he was running home one night and he stumbled on the lion. Boink! The lion woke up. What are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Your Majesty, Sir King of the Jungle. I mean, uh, Savannah. Um, I, I was just going home to my house and, and, and I, I tripped over you. Oh, you tripped over me. Now I'm going to have to eat you. Ah. Oh, please, no, Mr. Your, 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 your Majesty, don't eat me. Don't eat me. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe I can help you someday, some way, somehow, some way. <laughs> How can you ever help me, you little tiny, puny little mouse? Good for nothing. Squirt. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I could share my food with you. <laughs> Your foods are just a bunch of crumbs to me. They're not going to feed me. Besides, I eat meat. Ooh, look at all that good meat out there. Mmm, that looks like some good meat. Oh, oh, oh I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Do you guys eat meat? Yeah. Do you eat vegetables? Well, some of you eat meat and vegetables. Some of you eat meat without vegetables. And some of you eat vegetables without meat. Right. As long as you're eating a healthy diet, that's what's important, OK? A carnivore or a vegetarian, as long as you're eating healthy, doesn't matter. Well, <laughs> you know, little mouse, you made me laugh today. And for that, I am going to let you go. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. I, I really promise I will help you someday. I really, really promise. And with that, with that, the mouse ran home. And he went to sleep. He had a good night's rest ahead of him. But before he went to sleep, he was thinking about what that lion had told him about how he would never be able to do anything great because he was too small. Have you ever thought that you can never do anything great or fancy because you were too small? Yeah. Well, the mouse did go to sleep and he dreamed. He dreamed a dream. And in this dream, he dreamed about a little flea. This flea's name was Enrique. Say hi to Enrique. Now, Enrique, he was tiny, but he aspired and wanted to be something great. So he joined the circus. He joined the circus and he started working out on the tightrope. Yes, sir. He learned how to walk back and forth on that tightrope very carefully. Can you see him there? And he got so good, pretty soon he was doing flips on the tightrope. Watch this. Here we go. Drum roll. Boing. Got it. What's that? Oh, Enrique wants to do a triple flip. OK, you want to see his triple flip? OK, watch closely. Don't take your eyes off of him. Drum roll. Boing. Three, two. Got him. All right. Give Enrique a big hand. Okay. He did a good job on that. All right. So Enrique was tiny, but he could do great. What, what's that, Enrique? Oh, oh, he wants to do a special trick now. Okay. 
He wants to show how he's become the strongest flea in the world. Okay? Okay, you ready for this? Okay, so here's Enrique. La pulgada más fuerte del mundo. Okay? Oh, wait, 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 wait. He needs to warm up a little bit for this. So could you hold him, please? Somebody there? You got him? Thank you. I'll get him back in a minute, okay? Um, maybe the rest of us could do some exercises with Enrique, okay, to get ready, like uh, away from your computers. Don't be sitting on the table like this. Ready? Here we go. Touch your toes. One, two, one, two. Reach for the sky. One, two, one, two. How about some jumping jacks? One, two, one, two, one, two. All right, now we'll lift some weights. Ready? You got those weights down there? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I think we're ready. You can give me Enrique back. Thank you very much. Got him, got him, got him, got him. And I'll put him over here. Now what he's gonna do is he gonna, he's gonna lift this rope straight up in the air, okay? He's gonna lift his side and I'll hold on my side, okay? Are you ready for this? Here we go with Enrique, the world's strongest flea. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Enrique, you're supposed to hold it up, okay? Hold it up, okay? Here we go. Okay. Enrique, the world's strongest flea. Just a minute, guys. Just a minute. Oh, you know what? That's not Enrique. Look. I got your flea by accident. Can, can you give me Enrique? Okay, I'll give you your flea back. There. Now, can, can you guys please give me Enrique? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. Now I got Enrique back and he'll be able to do that trick. <laughs> Sorry about that, Enrique. You trying to run away from me? Running away with the circus, not from the circus. Okay, so here we go. We'll try it again, okay? Let's do it with a drum roll this time, okay? Here we go with Enrique, the world's strongest flea. Drum roll. And there he is. Give him a big hand. Look how he's lifting up that rope. Okay, good job, Enrique. Uh, what? Better neighbor. Oh, he wants to do the leap of death now. You got time for one more? You want to see the leap of death? Yes? Okay, 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 here we go. Here's Enrique in the leap of death. He's gonna climb the rope all the way to the top and he's gonna jump off into my hand. Are you ready for this? Here we go, drum rolls. <laughs> higher, okay, higher. <laughs> Even higher? Okay, that's as high as I can go. Okay, here he goes with Henrique. The leap of death. Hey, oh, I got him, I got him. All right. Got Henrique, let's give him a big hand, okay? Wasn't that a great job? Congratulations, Henrique. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Henrique. Oh. Hey, 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 can I use your flea and, and, and just use him? Is that okay? Yeah? Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And and I promise, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll protect him and keep him safe. I even have a little place to put him. Okay, I'll put him right inside this thing right there. There, I've got him right in here. Okay, he'd be nice and safe and sound. I promise not to clap that time. And next time you see him, you won't even recognize him. He's gonna be healthy and fit and strong, okay? Well, right then, that's when the mouse woke back up. And he thought about it, he said, wow, if that little flea could do great in my dreams, I think I can too. Well, time passed. We had that little mouse, he tripped over the lion. The lion got pretty mad. But since the little mouse let him go by saying maybe he could do something for him someday, the lion let him go not really thinking that that little tiny squirmy little mouse could ever do anything. 
Well, let's see how this turns out, okay? One day, quite a while later, the lion had uh, been out for quite a while and he went down for a nap. And <clears throat> while he was sleeping, he snored. Can you all snore? Yeah, lions, they'll sleep for up to 18 hours a day. Yes, 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 yes. There he is, finally. But they'll sleep a long time. And they need their sleep, right? Just like you need your sleep. 10, 12 hours a day, right, guys? Right. Adults don't need quite as much. But you guys do, because your minds and bodies are still growing. And it says if you sleep more, you'll grow more. Find out if it's true, okay? Great, great. Well, so the lion was out sleeping, and... Okay, keep sleeping. That's fine. While he was out, some hunters came along. And these hunters, they were setting traps. They were setting traps for the animals. And they put out traps where they would be sure to catch them. Now, these, these hunters... They were called poachers. Poachers are hunters that go out and hunt for animals when they're not supposed to. Or they hunt for animals on the endangered species list, okay? Protected animals. And that's not good, okay? They hunt for these animals because they want their skins, not usually their meat. They want their claws or their bones, maybe their heads or their whatever for a carpet or a a piece on their mantle. Now deer are different, okay? We hunt them from meat and we, you know, we decorate our house with those and that's, that's fine and dandy, okay? But just to do it, to kill them for their decorations, that's not such a cool thing, okay? No, no. So these hunters, poachers, set some traps. Now the lion, when he woke up, he was pretty sleepy. And he didn't see the trap set down by the water hole. And as he went out, spring, ah, roar, roar, roar. Let me see some roars over there in the, in the chat. Okay, we need a lot of roars because he was mad. He was upset. <laughs> roar, roar, and the hunters heard him, and the hunters came running, 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 and they say, look, we caught a lion, we caught a lion, we caught a lion, we caught a lion, roar, roar, and those hunters were so happy, and the lion was so mad, and the Poacher said, well, let's go get our knives and things so we can get his pieces of his body and maybe we'll take him to the zoo. We'll see what we do, but let's go get those things, okay? So they left him there and the lion was still roaring and roaring and roaring. And guess who heard him? Guess who heard the lion roaring? That's right. The little mouse heard him roaring. Uh-huh. And he said, oh, that sounds like the lion. Should I go help that lion? He hasn't been very nice to us at all. But, oh, but I did promise him I would help him. Okay, I'll go see what's up. So the mouse came over and the lion who was roaring, roar, roar, roar. The mouse asked him, well, what happened to you? And the lion said, oh, the poachers came and set a trap and they caught me. And now I'm doomed to die. 
because nobody is here to save me. Nobody can help me. And the mouse was like, hey, wait a minute. I'm here. Not so fast. Oh, but you're just a little mouse. You can't do anything for me. You want to bet? Just watch this. And you know what the mouse did? He went over and he nibbled, nibbled, nibbled on the ropes. And he nibbled, nibbled, nibbled on the ropes. And he nibbled, nibbled, nibbled on the ropes. And he nibbled, nibbled, nibbled on the ropes until the lion was free. Oh, oh thank you, little mouse. You saved me from the poachers. Now, let's get out of here before they come back. No, 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 no. We can't do that, said the little mouse. We need to get rid of these poachers once and for all. And I have a plan to get rid of these poachers. You, a little mouse? Yes, me, a little tiny mouse. Okay. And here was the plan. The plan is, guys, that we're going to get all the animals together in the forest. And we're all going to scream and yell and make loud animal noises when the poachers come back. Okay? Can you guys do that? Put all those things in the chat when you see it, okay? When I say now, okay? We'll practice right now, okay? Go. Like a lion, an elephant. Hyena. A zebra. I don't know what zebra is. How about a giraffe? Uh, all kinds of animals, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Now here we go. Okay. Let me get the animals ready. I've got them right here. We're gonna put the line right here. Okay. You hang in there, okay? Thank you. And here come the poachers. They're coming back. Okay. Everybody quiet. Makes. But anyway, how about a laughing hyena? <laughs> All right, and the poachers there were like, "What's going on here? What's going on there? Oh my god! Oh my god! What's going on? How about an owl?" Oh, want to hear my knock knock joke? Knock knock. Owls. Owls who? No, owls don't who. Oh yes, they do who. You're right. You got it. Okay. Anyway, and, and the poachers, they ran into each other. They banged into each other, and they finally ran away, and they fell into the watering hole or something. I don't know. But they got out of there. They never came back. The little mouse's plan worked. And the lion was so happy. He never bothered any of the animals again. And he learned a lesson. That no matter how small anyone is, they can always help someone greater than you. And that's the moral of our Aesop's fable. Okay? That's the moral in this story. Is no matter how small you are, you can always help a greater. Okay? We've got some good books at the library. Ask Miss Tracy and the other librarians there to help you find some of these books. Here's a fun picture book just for the kiddos. You can just look at this. You don't even have to know how to read to see this book. It's about the lion and the mouse. There they are in the savanna. Okay, lots of nice shots here. Beautiful artistry. Maybe you could draw a picture of a lion and 
put it at the library there for Miss Tracy and all the other people to see. Or a mouse, right? So this is one book. It's called The Lion and the Mouse. And here's another story all of you are familiar with, I think. The hare and the tortoise, right? Yeah, it's not how fast you run. Sometimes it's about just how smart you, small you, smart you are. <laughs> and remember that it's slow and steady that wins the race. So there's some good books. Oh, and if you want to learn a little bit about safari life and the savanna, they've got some other fun books there. Okay. And you can learn about the animals in the savannah. Don't forget that movie I told you about. It costs a couple of dollars, I think, on YouTube or Amazon, but it's called Animals Are Beautiful People. It is not boring. It starts off real exciting. It catches you by surprise. Fun book. Okay, so that's my story for you today. Remember, I'm Aesop or Mr. Mark. And, oh, we did learn a lot today about how even if you're small, you can still help someone greater than you, right? And we know that we can go to the state parks and go fishing. They've got fishing gear there for us. And your parents don't have to have a driver's license. Well, yeah, they need a driver's license. They just don't need a fishing license, right? Great. And we learned about Enrique, the world's strongest flea, right? We learned about some nocturnal animals. And remember, we're not talking about your brothers and sisters, right? We learned about poachers. Poachers are bad. They're going to get arrested for the bad things they do. And we learned about this guy, Esau. That's me. Right. He wrote over 700 fables. That's a lot of fables, isn't it? Right. Well, you don't have to write a long story to write a story. All his were very short. Well, I want to thank you for having me today. And like I say, your librarians are very important to you. They're like the golden key that unlocks a magical door to lots and lots of wonderful information. So thank you, Ms. Tracy. And I imagine Caitlin, she must be a librarian. And who are some other librarians there, Tracy, that we can go to? I got some water in my ear. I can't hear you. <laughs> I still got water in my ear. Just a minute. We have here at the library, we have um, uh, Miss Tracy and Miss um, Caitlin and Miss Kayla and Miss Linda and Mr. Simon. We have a lot of people here uh, that would love to help you uh, get those great books. Great. Well, I want to wish you kids all a really wonderful summer reading uh, program this year, okay? Uh, get your kits, use them, learn all you can. And within a couple of days, I'm actually going to put a video on about how to make a balloon, okay? And I've got two seconds. I'm gonna do it really quick and show you because I know some of you do have the balloon kits, right? And watch this. There's a boy here, I invited him to watch. His name is Zach and he's a teenager. He can make 18 of these. Is that right, Zach? Type it in the chat real quick. Yes, he can do 18 of these in one minute. Okay, and all you're doing is you're going like this. And there's a dog. Did you see how simple that was? Now some dogs have long tails, some dogs have short tails. We'll do one more. I'll do it a little slower, okay? Zach had to do it quick because he was doing for a contest. Uh, did you win, Zach? I can't remember. So anyways, when you make a balloon, you make a smile, okay? You turn it, you grab it in the middle, and you twist. And there you got a doggy with the nose, see? And you do that again. You make a smile, because the world is always brighter with a smile, right? Right. You make a smile, 
you turn it sideways like a C and you, or a D, I don't know, but you grab it in the middle, you squeeze, it's not gonna pop. That's what balloons do, they squeeze and you twist. One, two, three. And you got a doggy with some front legs or a two-legged snake, I don't know. And then you go all the way to the back side. Phew! That's the stinky side, don't smell it, okay? And you're gonna make a smile. You're gonna turn it sideways. There, now that's a C, I think. And you're gonna grab it in the middle and you're gonna squeeze and twist. One, two, three. And there you've got your simple little doggy. One, two, three, real quick, okay? And I'll try to send Miss Tracy a video this afternoon that hopefully she'll be able to post for you guys, okay? Great. You don't have to do all those extra twists. I'm not quite sure what your uh, your uh, instruction sheet had, but um, that's a very simple dog. And that makes you on the road to doing fundraising for your library, your school, your sporting group. Um, one of my sons raised enough money to go to Brazil on a mission trip, okay? And I have another son, he's putting himself through college right now by making balloons. Great. Well, that's all from me, Mr. Bart. Thanks a lot for having me, guys. Maybe I'll see you another time, okay? Bye-bye for now. Okay, thank you, Mr. Mark, for coming today. Uh, we really enjoyed your show. Um, Miss Caitlin is our teen librarian, and she's going to let you know what we're doing next week. Hey, everybody. I'm Caitlin Miller, your teen librarian. I'm really tall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited um, that y'all got to stick around and watch the show. Thank you so much, Mr. Mark, for your performance. And again, this is still the beginning of summer. There's so many activities that we have going on. Um, next week, next Monday, we have Birdhouse Summer Kits available for pickup for those who have signed up. Miss Tracy will send out a reminder email this Friday with instructions for pickup. And next Tuesday between 10 and 12 in the morning, we're going to have Paw Patrol come to the library so uh. people can come and take pictures with those characters. And Wednesday at 1030, we are going to have a virtual performance with Happy Birds. Let's get excited about some birds. Also, if you have not yet signed up for summer reading, there is still plenty of time. We have lots of prizes that we want to give away, lots and lots of coupons, especially. We love giving away coupons. So you, you do not have to be a Hewitt resident to sign up for any of these activities. So we look forward to seeing you. And um, if you have any questions, you can either come by the library and ask us, or you can go to our website at cityofhewitt.com. Uh, click the owl, that's our library, and hope you get all the information you need. Thanks for coming by and have a great week, guys. Bye. Bye.